Hey guys, Movie Fan here. Today we're going to continue our Megazord costume by moving on to the right leg, better known as the Sabertooth Tiger. First you want to build the right leg the same way that you built the left leg. Now if you haven't already built the right leg, here's what you do. First you'll want to cut yourself some big pieces of cardboard. Of course you'll want to make it big enough to cover the sides of your leg as well as the front and back. You'll also need to make a bottom piece that you can put your foot on, and of course you'll want to cut a piece that goes from the top of the ankle all the way down to the toe, and of course cut triangles for the sides to fill it in. When you're done with that, you should have a leg that looks something like this. After you do that, grab an old right slip-on shoe and some Gorilla Glue and glue it into place right inside the leg. Now we're going to make the wheels, and that's real simple. All you got to do is grab your round protractor and draw a complete circle with it. Repeat the process three more times. Cut them out and double them up so you got two big wheels. Cover them with black duct tape. Next, get two strips of gray duct tape and cover the wheel like this. Then use your roll of duct tape to draw out a circle. Cut off the excess with a utility knife. Then use your little triangle from your protractor kit to measure out where you want the little fan parts to go on the wheel. Cover those parts with gray duct tape, then cut them to size. After that, you'll want to do roughly the same thing with red pieces of duct tape. And when you're done, it should look like this. Next, you'll want to draw some side plates on two pieces of cardboard. Be sure to take into account that the wheels are going to sit at the very end of that, right about here. Next, cover the pieces with gray duct tape, and then cover them with yellow duct tape. The gray duct tape will serve as a primer coat because, unfortunately, the yellow duct tape is pretty thin. In fact, it's so thin that you can literally read the writing on the cardboard after you put it on there. Next, grab that piece of plastic we used earlier and place it right on top of the yellow piece. The idea is to use the yellow piece as a template for the design that sits right on top of it. Put some white duct tape on that plastic. Be sure to make it roughly where the white's going to end up on there. Cut it to size and put some red, blue, and black duct tape on there. And use a utility knife and cut them to the shapes they need to be. Again, press very gently so you don't cut through the white. Then peel the whole thing off and stick it into place. Then put the plastic on there, cover it with red and white to create the other half of the image. Then pull it off the plastic, line it up, and stick it into place. And repeat the process one more time for the other side. The only difference here is you got to go the opposite direction. Next, draw two lines on the top of the foot going vertical like this. Cut the lines with your utility knife and also cut the duct tape connecting between the lines. Cut out some triangular pieces for the other side and duct tape them into place. After that, cover them with gray duct tape and make sure the gray duct tape goes all the way to the shoe. Next, lay out some black duct tape on your piece of plastic, grab a circular object, I used a small can, and draw and cut out four black circles. Next, use that same piece of plastic and grab a smaller circular object, I used a button, and draw and cut out four gray circles. Put the gray circles on top of the black circles, and you got yourself a couple pair of wheels to go on the side of the leg. Next, cover the entire leg with gray duct tape, and then cover it with yellow duct tape. But don't cover the legs of the saber-toothed tiger because they need to stay gray. Also, don't cover the head just yet because we still got work to do. Once you got the leg covered, grab the four little wheels that we made earlier and put two of them on either side, roughly about here. Next, put two pieces of black duct tape on either side close to the wheels. Then cut off a piece of gray duct tape, cut them into two narrow strips, and put them right in the center of the black duct tape on either side. Next, get your two big wheels and glue them on the side of the foot, right where the heel is. Now, if that doesn't work, you can always duct tape them into place, but of course, you'll have to cover it with gray and yellow. That way, it'll look right. Next, grab a piece of craft foam, cut it to size, and cut a big hole in the center for your leg to go through. Line it up and tape it into place. Be sure to cover the entire thing with yellow duct tape so it'll be a lot stronger. Next, grab your side pieces and glue them into place. Next, cut eight long, narrow pieces of cardboard. Grab four of the pieces and round off one corner. You want it to look something like a knife edge. Grab two of the other pieces of cardboard and round off the end. That way it'll go with the curve. And just grab all the pieces and duct tape them together. Two of the edges facing one way, the curve in the back, and of course the flat piece to cover the one side. And cut a small square piece to fit on the top. Cover it with gray duct tape and then yellow duct tape. When you get them covered, cut off a piece of black duct tape and wrap it around the entire piece and be sure to do the same for the other piece as well. Next, we're gonna make the tail of the saber-toothed tiger. Grab one piece of styrofoam and cover it with silver duct tape. If you don't have any styrofoam, just roll a piece of cardboard up into a tube. Next, you'll wanna get some small pieces of cardboard and make a small rectangular box. 
Next, grab some more cardboard and make a small square box. After you get your boxes made up, cover them both with gray duct tape. Of course, for the rectangular box, you'll want to duct tape the silver cannon right into the end. Then cut two medium-sized strips of black duct tape and wrap it around the rectangular box. Next, cut a square piece of black duct tape and a smaller piece of red duct tape. Put the red duct tape on top of the black duct tape and then transfer it onto the box. Now that we got those parts made up, we're going to work on the head of the saber tooth tiger before we glue them on. First thing you need to do is make the top of the head slope down, something like this. Once you get the angle right, you'll have to determine where you're going to bend the cardboard so the nose will go straight. Once you determine where you want that bend to be, grab a ruler or a carpenter square and bend it. After you do that, cut a little bit off the sides of the head so it'll taper off a little. Next, you'll want to make the sides of the head. How you do that is you carefully hold the head right into place. In order to do that, you'll have to bend the pieces just in the right spot where you want them. Get a piece of cardboard, draw an outline on it, and cut it out. Use that cutout to create another one and duct tape them into place. After that, cut a long rectangular piece and duct tape it right in the front. That's where the nose will be later on. And speaking of noses, that's what we're going to do next. Cut two long rectangular pieces and duct tape them together. Take your rectangular piece and set it on top of the nose. Mark where you want it to bend. The idea is we're going to bend it over so it'll become the entire nose, from the front all the way to the bridge. Once we get that marked off, grab a carpenter square or a ruler and use all your might to bend it over. After that, check the bend to see if that's right where you want it. Once you got it right where you want it, use a marker and a ruler to create a little triangle right at the bend. Then cut them to size. Then cover your triangular piece with black duct tape and the flat piece with yellow duct tape. Now we're going to make the saber teeth. Cut two rectangular pieces and roll them up. After you get that curve right where you want it, cut a notch on one end that looks something like this. Roll them up again and duct tape the edges together. Of course, you need to cap off the end of the tooth, which is simple. Just cut out a shape that'll fit and duct tape it into place. After that, cover it with silver duct tape. Next, cut off a small piece of red duct tape and cut out two rectangular pieces. These will be the eyes of the saber-toothed tiger. Then cover the entire head with gray duct tape and cover it with yellow duct tape. Next, put some Gorilla Glue on the bottom of the nose piece and duct tape it down as well. After you're done with that, grab those little red strips of duct tape and put them in place. Then cut out two little black pieces of duct tape and taper them to a sharp point, something like this. As you may have already figured out, these will be the ears. When you cut them out, just put them where they need to go. Then get your saber teeth and duct tape them into place with silver duct tape. After you do that, cover these excess silver duct tape with yellow duct tape. After that, you can put the head down and tape it down with yellow duct tape. While you're at it, you can also cut little notches around the feet and the head. That way it'll look a little better. But if you want to leave it alone, that's entirely up to you. Next, lay down two pieces of black duct tape on your plastic sheet and cut them into a perfect square. Then cut off two pieces of red duct tape and put them on just like this. Peel the whole thing off and place it right on the saber tooth tiger's head. Then grab the tail pieces and the yellow pieces and glue them into place. And there you have your saber tooth tiger. Be sure to tune in next week because during that Cosplay Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to build the thigh pieces. This is Movie Fan, signing off.